today's video hope everyone's doing all right not bit of an extra video today because i've had some in the post and i'm all excited about it i managed to get my hands on one of these you must have seen these on the internet they've been all over my facebook for weeks i've been intrigued in that so yeah grab yourself a cup put your feet up let's see if these are any good or if i just wasted me money fantastic <laughs> Yeah, today's video we're going to be having a look at these things crimp mitts i did have this lined up for a future video but like i'm a sucker for a kitchen gadget when it turned up i had to get it out the packet so hence this video if i sound a bit rough today it's because i'm full of cold and that but I'm, I'm battling through i'm battling through it's fantastic so yeah i thought we'd have a look at it we'll get out of its box we'll see if it's any good and that see if i've uh, wasted my money we'll put it through its paces i'm going to do a normal wrap like it says in that then we're going to make some pasties a nice steak pasty fantastic fantastic but yeah i managed to get two of them i ordered them from crimpton itself i think it was through facebook and they were 15 quid fantastic but yeah a bit dump one to the side because we don't need that one for now and we'll get this one out the box we'll have a look yeah when i seen the post it today he says oh, i've got a parcel for you i was like ah get in i dropped everything but look at this Right, get rid of the box, we didn't need that. There's a bit of information on the box, but um, oh God, what we've got here? Crimpit wrap instructions, we'll follow them. So we're doing all things right in that. And what's this? Just a recipe card and that. Join the Facebook group. I should already be in it, the amount of adverts I've had off them. But yeah, this is it, the crimpit. Plastic. Not too bad, not too bad. Well, it's this what I'm more intrigued about, this crimping bit business, crimping caution. To get the best crimp, place the wrap over the crimpit, add the ingredients, then microwave the device for 20 seconds with all the ingredients together. Remove from the microwave and fold and crimp. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Well, that's what we'll be doing. Right, let's bring the instruction card in and we'll aim. Um, We'll bring some ingredients in and we'll get cracking. I'm not going to go through the ingredients and all that. I'm just going to make something that I'll have during the week. Then I say we'll make the steak pasty. But I've noticed with these instructions, we've got that one. We've got this caution card, like, like the warning you how to make it. <laughs> and you've got more instructions on the back how it works. So they're definitely telling you how it works. That's for sure. But right, we've got to buy with favourite wraps. So I've got a wrap. Then we're going to add your favourite filling. Fantastic. So we'll put, I think we'll put that on there. I've been so looking forward to this, you know. So looking forward to it. Fill it with your, your bits, right? No worries. We've got some onions. Some peppers. Some chicken breast. I don't know how much I'm meant to put in here, like, but I'm, I'm going to go for it, like. Proper full wrap get some more in that tell us in the comments if you use a kitchen gadget people in that I love it me like half of them end, end up in the charity shops I'm gonna give it a squirt of this just a, a chili sauce just give it some flavor and it says before you fold the crimp it Put it in the microwave for 20 seconds right we'll do that now i'll notice when you pick it up you've got to pick it up like that because if you don't it'll just buckle over on you right in the microwave 20 seconds let's get that open i'm all one-handed today 20 seconds right we've got with 20 seconds and it says, fold over the crimp it. I can see a problem straight away here. I don't think my wraps are big enough, you know. I'm going to give it a fighting chance. But this is a standard wrap from Asda, this, like, so... Is it too big for our, our wraps? I'm not too sure. Right, fold it over and crimp it. Here we go. I'll give it a nice good squeeze. Give it a fighting chance. I preheated my oven to 180. I'm going to bring a tray in. 
And let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. Hey, look at that. That's not bad, is it? Take it out. See what the seal's like. Seal's not very good. I've just seen a flap. Look at that. Uh, I'm not too pleased with that, like. But anyway, we'll push it in. I might have just as well have done that from the start, like. Yeah, not good, not good. But it's the first chance in it. I'm going to whack that in the oven for five minutes. See what it comes out, see what comes out. Right, this is at a few minutes now. Let's see what we've got. Look at that. I don't know what to make of that, to be honest with you, like. I don't know what to make of that. It's sealed enough, like. Right? There's no come out, but that's not sealed, is it? Look. don't know how much of that you can see, but I can open that wrap right up. We'll get it in, get a knife, and we'll see how crunchy it is. Yeah. I'm not too impressed by that, like, not too impressed by that by all. Might be nicer with a bit of cheese in or something, but is it worth all the hassle? 15 quid? I don't really think so, you know, I don't really think so. But anyway, we'll move on, we'll do the one that I bought before, really, which was the pasties. We'll make a nice steak pasty, lush these in our lush. So onwards and upwards, I'll have a clear down, I'll bring in the ingredients, and this one should be good, this one should be good, fantastic. Right, let's see if this can redeem itself by making a steak pasty, the lush these in our. You can make them without this stupid thing, like, they're fantastic. But what I'm gonna do first, just to make sure this is dry, I'm just gonna give it a coat of flour, and just give it a shake. Like I say, I'm flying solo here. I haven't read out about making pasties. I'm probably making them all wrong. But it's fine. It's fine. It's how, it's how I would make it. Get rid of the flour. Yeah, and let's go. We're going to use a puff pastry. The same one I had on my channel a few weeks ago and that. So we'll just roll that out. Push it over. We'll just take its shape so we'll know where we're, we're filling. Right. Let's see if this is any good. Right, I'm going to go in with um, a few onions. These are just frozen sliced onions, which I've let defrost. Fantastic, fantastic. And this stuff, stewed steak. Fantastic. If you see me stewed steak video, this was the winner. It's great stuff, it's great stuff. I haven't used it since that video, so we can see if it's still consistent. But look at that. Oh, it's a bit fatty, that one, like. But it's fine. So we'll just get a couple of scoops of that in. Hey, <laughs> looks like dog food, but it tastes great. A couple of good scoops. Yeah, get it in. And all I'm going to do, I'm just going to put some pepper across it. I'm not going to put any more salt in because I think there might be enough salt in the steak and that. Then we're just going to pack it out with this stuff. Four cheese blend. I've never used this one before. I normally just use cheddar and mozzarella. But I thought I'd get it all mixed up in that. Save us a bit of money. I'm just going to put a whacking load of this on. These are lush, these are absolutely lush. Yeah, let's see if this uh, crimp it can sort of pasty out. Right, here goes nothing. It's over. I'm just going to give it a good press down. I'm going to trim it while I've got it closed. So I'll find my knife. Right, I found it. I'm going to just give it a, a little trim up. Hopefully it'll come out. Look at that. Fantastic, get rid of that, and hopefully this is going to come out. I'm just going to use the same baking tray that I used for the wrap. I mean, the wrap, it was my first go, so it might be it might be a bit better if I have a couple of goes at it, but I wasn't that overly impressed. Well, great, man. I've, I've had a little Google about them, and loads of people are making loads of stuff in them, so you will see it again. So I'll just give that a little spray. We'll turn this out, see how well it's stuck together. Look at that. That's better. It's 
still not shut properly, you know. It's still not shut properly. Look at that. So I'm just going to pinch it. Because it'd be a waste of a good pasty. Everything will just come steaming out of there, like. Right. I'm going to give it a couple of little score lines so it doesn't blow up in the oven and explode. And we're going to give it an egg wash. Maybe I should have egg washed the seam. We'll see, we'll see. We'll give it an egg wash. And I'm going to put this in my preheated oven. I've turned it up a little bit to 190. I'm going to cook it for about 20 minutes. I'm going to check it after 15. And we'll come back and we'll see what we've got. I'll have a nice clear down in that. Because my kitchen's like a bomb site. But yeah, we'll get rid of that. So 20 minutes. We'll come back. I'll be all cleaned down. And we'll have a look to see what we've got. Right, we've had with 15, 20 minutes. And let's have a look. And what I guessed would happen has happened. Look at that. It's just come spewing straight out. Straight out the sides. I knew I knew it was gonna the crimp was rubbish. But we'll get it off there. Pastry's lovely. Look at that. Really nice. We'll scoop this off because there's no need to waste it and that. But there you go. That's what your crimp it does, mate. That's what your crimp it does. And there you have it. That's my unboxing and their first use of the crimp it. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit disappointed with the wraps and that. The pasty, maybe it was me with the not egg washing the seal properly and that. I'll take that one because it made an absolutely cracking pasty. But what do you reckon? Would it make you buy one? Do you think they're any good? Do you think it's just a waste of money? Do you think you could just pinch them together with your fingers? Maybe, maybe, but I'm going to crack on in, in there, private and that, and see if I can perfect it, and maybe we'll see it again on the channel. But thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button, hit subscribe and that. Share it about if you keep getting these crimped adverts. You can see how it's, how it's performed, you know. So yeah, I'm still working on the Christmas video. Hope we'll be out next week. I don't think there'll be one on Sunday because um, it's taking a little bit longer than I thought. But yeah, have a great week. Be kind and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.